Are you not roasting? It's my look. You look warm. Do you not like it? What's a badge? Was it the women's library last weekend? It's that place that they're still throwing out trans women. What, actually throwing them out? That can't have been happening. Well, it's really inclusive now for any one woman identifying. Then what were you doing there? I think it's important to engage and support all areas of your community. The girl I like was screening a film there. Anyway, I thought it was cool. They had unisex toilets. Oh yeah, it sounds like great fun using the unisex toilets. Then you step outside into the real world and it's just back to using the women's. Toilets are far eh? Do you mean that seriously? Hey, I get shit in public clothes too. Initial inconvenience isn't the same as violence. I've been beaten up in toilets before. I don't even feel comfortable in using the male or female toilets. I feel super marginalized. I do. Try not being allowed to join women's movements. Try not having any movements to join. Try dealing with the pressure of people assuming you're talking on behalf of your entire community every time you open your mouth. Try being called just a lesbian. <laughs> Try being referred to as the lady by young mothers in supermarkets. Try being asked where your mom is because everyone thinks you're 12. Try people only being nice to you in order to score their liberal points. <laughs> Try being told you've chosen your gender identity because trans is passé. Try apparently triggering the disillusion of the gender identity for every female on earth. Yes, yeah, Steph, it's all your fault. You joke, but imagine the personal resolve you need to find when you get caught up in political gymnastics with a bunch of TERFs. Wait, what TERFs? Try looking in the monsters section of your beloved women's library. Yes, learning. God, you're so smart, Steph. Why do you work in a cloakroom? So funny. Yeah. It's hilarious.